Hello guys, welcome to another YouTube video. I'm your host Caveman PRDR and today we're going to be taking a look at the positive outlook. But before we do, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel as both help out me tremendously as I make content for you guys. Thank you. Let's get on with the video. It is a Void Affinity 450 RPM precision frame AR. Honestly, uh, probably one of my favorites that I have used since it has been re-released into the loot pool. Specifically, you can get it from Vanguard, so you can do things like strikes to get uh, to get drops for this, get uh, Vanguard engrams to go for rolls for this weapon in particular. It being a 450, it uh, honestly gives me Season 1 uh, Uriel's Gift vibes. If you're having trouble getting the Ross Arago God roll, you can do multiple prestiges of the Vanguard ranking system with Zavala in order to have multiple perk selections in columns three and four drop for positive outlook. Personally, this is one of my favorite roles, the uh, Zen Moment and Repulsor Brace role. I really like using this role in PvP with the Gear Falcons Hunter. Personally, for PvP specifically, I think the Zen Moment role is an absolute must. I'm going to show you some gameplay now where there's a lot of vertical bounce when you don't use Zen Moment, but when you use uh, when you use other perks in column three, there's a lot of reticle bounce and it's not as easy to keep the reticle on for crit as it is when you have Zen Moment on. So whenever I'm doing PVP, I personally recommend having Zen Moment to m keep that reticle steady and make it easier to land crits with the positive outlook for PVP. The, uh, the perk pool, I will say, is pretty enormous for positive outlook. Um, personally, for me, I genuinely think Zen Moment is really the main way to go. I think you could make a case for Tap the Trigger, but for me, personally, for PvP, I really value Zen Moment. PvE, I think you have plenty of options. I think the vertical balance isn't so bad. Like, It's just not really that necessary to just land crit after crit in PvE. I think you have plenty of options for it. My personal favorite for PvE for uh, Column 3 is probably going to be Ambitious Assassin. If you're using Gear Falcons, you can go with Repulsor Brace. I personally like using Golden Tricorn in PvE because you, when you're do, doing PvE, you literally have ability spam. So it's so easy to get Golden Tricorn times 2. All you do is get a kill with the gun get an ability kill, and then you turn right around with Golden Tricorn and you have plus 50% uh, damage bonus for 10 seconds. So, IMO, this is the way to go for positive outlook. I think if you really like uh, precision ARs, such as Amit, Amit is craftable. Granted, this isn't craftable. But if you like using Amit on solar subs, I highly recommend getting a roll of positive outlook and trying it out if you're using void subs for certain activities. Column 4, I think you have plenty of options. Like I said, for Gear Falcons, Repulsor Brace would be a play. Uh, if I'm not using Gear Falcons in PvP, PvP let's say I want to use like Void Walker if I want to use... Uh, if I want to use Bastion Titan, I, my personal opinion is for me to go with Golden Tricorn to make damage a little bit easier. I think you definitely have a case for a kill clip as well as the time to base time to kill for uh, tier eight, tier eight to tier ten is 0.8 seconds, which is highly competitive. This is a very very competitive minimal TTK AR when you have kill clip activated. It goes down to a 0.67. When you get Golden Tricorn times 2 activated, you can go down to a 0.53. It already has a great competitive base TTK, but when you have a damage perk activated like Golden Tricorn, even Golden Tricorn times 1 or Kill Clip, both bring down the base TTK to 0.67 with two body shot forgiveness pve i think you have plenty of options my personal god role is ambitious assassin and golden tricorn for pve 
I think you have plenty of options though. I don't know necessarily if Adaptive Munitions is the best. I think if there's Anti-Barrier AR, Adaptive Munitions may actually be pretty decent. Um, you could do a Stats for All with another option, but uh, you could even go Destabilizing Rounds if you don't run. You could potentially go Destabilizing Rounds. I don't love Destabilizing Rounds, but I think that's probably a lower tier option. I just don't think you do better than Golden Tricorn or Kill Clip for PvE. And I think those are going to be two of my three recommendations for PvP as well. So, without further ado, here's the gameplay. Fight together. Nothing. where Lord Shax earned his name. None fell more guardians than you. Fights together, stays together. Five minutes remain. A strong start. Fight on. You have a time.
captured. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold them. A well-fought victory. Impressive. You could give the Red Jacks a lesson in territory control. <laughs>